When you are building a Notion workspace, you might be interested in seeing what is the engagement of people and what pages are working and what pages are not working so that you can actually optimize the flow of data in the workspace that you build and actually drill down on the content that people are using the most or optimizing the content that is not working properly based on search terms and analytics that you can get. Earlier in 2023, Notion launched analytics and there are two types of analytics in Notion, page analytics and workspace analytics. In this video, we are looking at these two types of analytics and seeing how they fit within your overall Notion workspace and implementation plan. Page analytics are available on any plan in Notion, whereas workspace analytics are only available in enterprise plans. Let's start with page analytics. Here we have a Notion page, and whenever you hover on the clock icon at the very top right corner of the page, you can view all updates in here, or you can look at page analytics specifically on this page. And in the analytics, you will get total views and unique views of people. If that page is shared to the web, you will see all those views. If that page is only internal, you will see also the views, plus you will see the viewers of that page the editors, so who created that page and who edited that page recently. And you will see the names of people only if they have not opted out of being tracked on any specific Notion page or at the workspace level, because every account has the option to actually turn this off. When you go to settings, you can go my view history. And if you do don't record, your name will not appear in here. And you can see here, there is the graph where you can see total views and unique views on this specific page. And you can also change the scope of view, 7, 28, 90 days or all time views. So these are quite basic analytics that show you what is the amount of views on this specific Notion page. And you can access these analytics from the updates panel here, or also from the three dots, you will have page analytics and you can view analytics to open that panel again or you can select privacy settings to open that panel that I showed you before so that you can opt out of being recorded on this specific page. And that is pretty much everything there is to it. So page analytics can be useful for workspace admins in internal pages because you can see what is the amount of traffic on that page and what people are viewing and what people are not viewing and then recent edits to that page. It can also be useful for template creators or if you have pages shared to the web as portals, for example, where you can see actually if people are viewing that page, are visiting that page and what's the amount of visits on that page. The second type of analytics in Notion are workspace analytics. And these are only available on enterprise plans. And you can access workspace analytics from the settings and members menu where you will see here an analytics tab, as well as a content search tab. And these two are the main ones for workspace analytics, where you can see data across your whole workspace. And you cannot just see the views on your workspace, but also you can search for all the content and pages shared externally, for example. Or you can also look at what are the most frequent search terms across your workspace by members. That can be very useful if you are building a wiki in Notion, for example, and you want to see what people are searching for so that you can create content around the search term and make sure that it is very clear where that is located and people can find that page, the wiki page, easily. When you click on analytics here, you will see different tabs and overview. That's a little dashboard where you can see at a quick glance some key numbers, the active members in your workspace, the guests, the most active team spaces in terms of amount of views that they get and most active viewers and most active editors. So these data can be particularly useful when you have many members and guests in your workspace and you want to see at an aggregate level what are the trends on your workspace. And here as well as before, you can change the scope of view in terms of dates for the data. Down below you have content engagement these are some key numbers at the workspace level. What are the total views, the unique page views, 
and the total number of edits across your workspace, as well as what are the most popular pages in your workspace, where you can define the scope here too. On the other tabs, you have members where you can see a list of members and how they changed over time in a graph. In this case, this is just me, so nothing particularly useful to see here, but that's what the, the scope of this particular tab is. And you have content where you can see all your pages. You can also export as CSV. You can change the time frame here. How many pages were created, how many edits, views and unique views. These are the key metrics that Notion applies in the analytics. And you can search across your entire workspace to see pages. And you can also define filters to search for pages in a specific team space or created by or created on. And here you can see all the pages and you have three dots where you can copy the link to page. You can open that page and you can quickly see all the views, unique views, the location, the audience, and some other metadata like that. So this can be useful when you have a big workspace. And if you don't have the centralized view, it can get quite overwhelming to manage a workspace as an admin where you want to understand actually what's going on at the team space level and at the workspace level, what pages are the most viewed and which pages are shared to the web and where they are located. And that's where the usefulness of this tab can come in. And finally, you have the search tab in here where you would see what are the most searched terms within your workspace. Here, I don't have anything because again, this workspace is only used by me. So we don't have any analytics yet. And the second key tab at the workspace analytics level is the content search option. That's why you can search across your whole content or pages in the workspace. And you can also define what pages you want to search for. Shared externally, meaning with external people to the share menu at the top right corner of a specific page where you can invite guests or shared to web. That means when you allow the share to web option and you can also allow the duplication option or not. So for example, if you go to share to the web, you can see here, again, we have a search bar where you can search page ID, title, content for quick search. You can export results in a CSV format that will be emailed to you once it's ready. And you can also filter based on specific criteria by here. For example, you can see shared web pages. That's what we are looking at right now. But you can also see private pages in your workspace, for example. And that's an important feature to maybe make your workspace members aware of because when you are an admin or a workspace owner, you can also see private pages created by other people. So if you use this feature and people don't opt out of being tracked, it is a fair behavior usually to actually let people know that you are using this feature and how you intend to use it or not use it at the workspace level. And you can see here, you have all the pages and if you click on the three dots, you can also directly change permissions from here within this tab and that's very powerful otherwise you will need to jump to page by page and your entire workspace you can copy the link to the page and you can see all the other metadata here and another feature regarding analytics that you might want to know is that when you go to settings you have the option here to not save and display page view analytics so that people can't see page analytics on a page level when they go here. But if you are on an enterprise plan, you would still have those workspace wide analytics within your Notion workspace. And that's really it for Notion analytics. We saw page analytics and workspace analytics, the latter being only available on enterprise plan and how you can use them and the key features that they offer. That is it for today. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. You can also find links in the description of this video. Thanks for watching for now and see you soon.